Election workers in Stockholm unload posters featuring Alf Christensen, the chairman of Sweden's moderate party, outside party headquarters on Monday. Christine Olsen TT News Agency AP, by Ennepelbaum Ennepelbaum columnist focusing on national politics and foreign policy email bio follow columnist September 10 at 2.40 p.m. in the strange world of the online alt-right, Sweden has long played a special role. This isn't because of its economic strength, small but robust, or because of its population, just less than 10 million. This is because, how shall I put this delicately? Swedes are blonde. Never mind that many aren't in the dismal fever swamps of the internet, Swedes now symbolize blondness and whiteness for a whole host of people, American, European, Russian, who use that symbolism to tell a particular story, blondness under siege. Whiteness under siege. Alt-right headlines such as how Sweden is committing suicide through political correctness draw long chains of vicious and vulgar commentary. In particular, the bloggers and trolls object to Sweden's 2015 decision, in reaction to the worst refugee crisis in post-World War II history, to let in 160,000 people. Numbers have dropped sharply since then, but to the alt-right, that decision was not a tale of generosity, but the ultimate story of whiteness under siege. President Trump himself picked up this line of argument from a convoluted and, as it emerged, manipulated segment on Fox News right at the beginning of his administration. Inspired by some dramatic misreporting, in February 2017, he ranted to a Florida rally, you look at what's happening last night, in Sweden. Sweden? Who would believe this, Sweden? In fact, nothing had happened in Sweden. But the online far right's constant, insistent, and even hysterical focus on immigration, including exaggerated reports of rape, had a genuine impact, it successfully helped refocus Swedish politics, as well as the outside world's perceptions of Swedish politics, around a single issue. From British tabloids to the New York Times, how the far right conquered Sweden, the only story anyone tells, is the rise of the far right, explicitly anti-immigration Sweden Democrats, projected by some to emerge as the largest party in parliamentary elections on Sunday. It's going to be huge, Alex Jones of Infowars ranted last week. As exit polls were published on Sunday night, Breitbart News trumpeted, prematurely, that the party had surged, while the establishment faltered. But when the real results came in on Monday morning, the story became more complicated, less dramatic, and more difficult to summarize. The Sweden Democrats did do better than before, but not as well as expected. They were the third largest party, not the largest. More to the point, the vast majority of Swedes, even during a year